worship and love go hand in hand, you know, and that should be something that we strive to be a lifestyle, you know, more than a genre of music or more than a uh, slogan word on a, on a Valentine's card, you know. And when I think about who God is, how tremendous that is and how that's, the impact that's had on my life, I mean, I feel like we can live love by trying to lead by example. There's a million situations that we all face all the time, you know, and I think if, if we can focus on trying to have God's heart and see things through God's eyes in those situations, I think that's a good place to start, you know. My wife and I have just, just recently, like in the last maybe year or so, but uh, trying to spend more time on our off time at, uh, there's, there's a couple, uh, this place called Room at the Inn in Nashville, it's a, like a nonprofit that, uh, it's basically a homeless shelter and they also have a whole different section of the building for, for addiction and, and kind of sex trafficking and stuff like that. And uh, so we've been trying to spend some time there just kind of serving food and helping them kind of be a part of that and, and bringing friends in to do that. And it's just so powerful just seeing God move through those situations and it's such a blessing to us in the same. I mean, I think if, if we all can sacrifice uh, even a little of our time, you know, to try to help someone else in some of those situations, it'll, it'll change your life. You know, you don't always have to go, as, as amazing as it is, you don't always have to go to Mexico or to a third world country. You know, this is in Nashville, you know, Tennessee, which we, everybody's heard about it. It's not some little town nobody's heard of. And uh, this is happening, you know, in, in every city. We can be loving each other at our Starbucks jobs and at our, the movie theaters, you know, that people work at. And I think that's just an extension of who we are, an extension of God's heart.